Today we will explore, based on previous parabolas in Bitcoin, at what price will the current cycle end? How high can we really go? So, what do you think? Of course, no one can say for sure, but the previous parabolas have been remarkably similar. First parabola, second parabola, third parabola, fourth parabola, and now we're in parabola number five. So we can at least analyze the first four and make some qualified guesses about which range we might end up in for the current parabola number five that we're in right now. First, sadly, I cannot predict the future. So I don't know what the end result will be. And with my large line process, I don't need to predict it because it is a reactive process. Still, it's fun to do this activity. And I think the range of outcomes might even shock you a little bit. And at least some of you will say I'm eating crazy pills. Let's start with the parabolas as such. And we start with parabola number one, which spans from July 2010 reached the high in June 2011 before the parabola broke. Larson line gold, of course. The gain from the bottom to the top was 63,000% or 638x and it took 317 days, which we enter here. The subsequent correction that followed was minus 93%. Let's capture that as well. Parabola number two went up 575x over 744 days. Let's capture that here. The correction that followed looks small here, but that was minus 86%. Parabola number three. In 2015 until December 2017, many of you here, including myself, joined this space during this parabola. Price from bottom to top went up 121x over 1068 days. Let's record that here. Then again, we had a substantial correction, in this case minus 84%. We captured that as well. Then for the third time, Bitcoin was dead here in 2018, but then we found support and started parabola number four. That took price from 3000 up to a high of almost 70k, price appreciation of plus 2100% or 22x over 1062 bars. We record that here. And as you might recall, many were of the opinion that that because institutions and more sophisticated investors, there will never again be any correction. While in fact, the correction became almost exactly the same as in the previous cases, almost minus 80%, precisely minus 78%. And somewhere here, people lost all hope because Bitcoin was obviously going to zero. And when we actually identified the bottom here, that's large line gold flip, almost no one was here paying attention. But... Another parabola started, parabola number five, which we are currently in. So far, from the bottom, this parabola has gone plus 238% or 3.3x over 454 bars. But where will it end? Is this the end or what will actually happen here? And of course, we don't know that. But let's at least look at the numbers that we have captured here and see if we can do some conclusions. Because as you saw, these parabolas have been remarkably similar. And even the current one looks exactly the same as the previous ones so far. So what can we say here? Well, the previous two parabolas have taken about 1000 days and the one before that about 750 days. The world is accelerating, so perhaps it will go a little faster this time. While I did say that last time also, and in fact it didn't. It took exactly the same length as the previous times. And what about the gain then? Here we can see something definite. The gains in each parabola has been less compared to the previous one. And that makes sense because as this starts to become a lot of money, some different mechanisms start setting in. If we look at the first parabola, someone who bought Bitcoin here at 10 cents might sell one Bitcoin here at one dollar to buy an ice cream. But that one dollar won't really change his life. So a lot of these holders here probably felt that this doesn't matter. This is just a fun game. I just keep them. While people who bought Bitcoin at 3,000 and held them until 60,000, then selling one Bitcoin might change that person's life. So there are 
other reasons for selling, which there weren't in the earlier parabolas. So it's a little bit more like swimming in syrup or something as we get up at higher and higher absolute prices. From parabola number two to parabola number three, we had a reduction in gain by a factor of about five. Then from parabola number three to parabola number four, we also had a reduction of a factor about five. So how about we assume as a pessimistic base case scenario that we will have another reduction of a factor five between parabola number four and parabola number five. 22 divided by five is 4.4. 4.4x is plus 340 percent. So that would take us to about 70,000 over 620 days. If this parabola as I've drawn it is the correct one. Then we get to 70,000 in July 2024. Let's write it down. 70,000 after 618 days, 29 July 2024. And then it looks like we can safely assume that there will be approximately 80% correction, which would take price to 14k. So 70,000 divided by 52 means we would be up 34% in a couple of months. Very nice. So is that it? Is that my analysis? No, because there is the aspect of the halvings as well. So instead of looking at the total gains in the parabola, we will now analyze what happened before the halving and what happened after the halving. Then we will switch to this chart. The first parabola didn't have any halving. So here we don't have any data. But the second parabola did and the gain was 6x before the halving over 376 bars, 6x over 376 bars and after the halving it was 96x, 96x over 367 bars, 367 days. And now you already saw something interesting. The part of the parabola that was before the halving and the part that was after the halving was almost exactly the same number of days. The second part you see is that the pump after the halving was bigger than the pump before the halving. Now let's see what happened with the other halvings. Let's move to the second halving which happened in parabola number three. Price appreciation before the halving was plus 300% meaning 4x over 542 days, 542. Post halving gain was 29x, 29x over 526 days, 526. Interesting! The pump before the halving and the pump after the halving was almost exactly the same length. And again, the gains after the halving was bigger than the gains before the halving. Let's move to the third halving in parabola number four. Gains 2.7x before the halving over 513 days. 513. Gains after the halving until end 2021 was 700% or 8x over 548 days. Again, the number of days before the halving and the number of days after the halving where the parabola was intact, where we had an ongoing pump was exactly the same before the halving and after the halving. And again, the gain after the halving was significantly bigger than before the halving. Okay. Let's move to parabola number five and the fourth halving that will come soon. The estimated days vary a little bit between services, April 20, some say April 22, doesn't matter exactly, but it will be somewhere around the 20th of April 2024. And that is very soon. We are in this parabola today. Of course, we don't know exactly what slope it should have, but if it is something like this. And of course, we can modify it as we get closer. From the bottom to the halving is 3.5x, 3.5x over 516 days. 516. And now you see something similar. The duration this time from the bottom until the halving is practically exactly the same as in the previous two parabolas. And the gain before the halving was very similar to the previous two. In fact, it's probably exactly the average of these two. Now let's add one column here and that is gain post divided by gain pre. So how much more after the halving did price gain compared to before the halving? So the first time it was 16 times more. Second time 29 divided by 4, it was 7 times more. Next time it was 8 divided by 2.7, it was 3 times more. So as you can see here, the extremeness of the difference has dropped by about a factor 2 each time. 
So let's assume that it drops again by a factor 2, that we get 1.5 times the pre-halving after the halving. So 3.5x times 1.5 times 5.25x. Days, what should the day be? This is like one of those IQ tests where you should answer what's in the box. Since these have been so similar every single time, I think we just assume that the length will be the same. So 516 days. So according to this model, after the halving, we could get a 5.25x pump over another 516 days. So where do we end up then? So what was it now? 5.25 times. That is 425%. 425% over 516 days. 425% or 516 days, that would take us to 300k September 18, 2025. 300,000 dollars in September 2025. And then an 80% correction, which would take price back to 60,000, which would make a lot of sense since that's approximately the current all time high resistance level. So the first model based on diminishing total gains in the parabola resulted in $70,000 by July 2024. The second model which looked at the pre-halving gain versus the post-halving gain where we have much more actual information because we are close to that point already in both price and time. Assuming this pattern continues where the post-halving gain is bigger than the pre-halving gain though at reducing extremeness results in a peak price of $300,000 $300,000 in September 2025. Here we have at least a range of two possible outcomes. Is that at all realistic or are we completely eating crazy pills here? I mean if we just look at the five parabolas and where we are so far, it looks reasonable, doesn't it? Here I drew the positive case of 300,000, but yeah, that would make these look exactly the same for the fifth time. I would say that at least it is possible. Which of those two scenarios will happen, or if it will happen at all, I don't know, and that's why I have a reactive process. Right now, large line is gold, price is still in an uptrend, probably this trend line has become some sort of self-fulfilling prophecy because we are facing resistance here. If we break through we have a target which is equivalent to the width of the channel measured from the breakout which would take price almost up to 90,000. If we reject it's possible that we retest the low of this diagonal channel yet another time. Or I would say even more likely that we retest the parabola which isn't an exact science exactly how it should be drawn. Can paint it like this or we can paint a little bit flatter, still should provide some support. Now let's check our crazy peel coefficient. If price goes to 300,000 from 51,000 it needs to go up 5.8x. That means that market cap would be about 6 trillion dollars. Is that possible? Well, it's not completely impossible if gold market cap is 13.6 trillion. 13.6 divided by 5.8. So gold would still be twice as big as Bitcoin at that point. Is that possible? Your opinion is as good as mine. Please share in the comment what you think. I think that's a possible outcome. If you want to get on the course with Lars Online with a one-time price, which is only one time, you don't pay it every year, please don't get scammed. I have only one website, ctolarsen.com. Thank you, Tuck. I hope you found this fun and useful. CTO Larson out.